guys, this is Heather. Today I wanted to talk about carbs. There's this battle going on still in the diet world about carbs, kind of like fats, where people lump them into this evil, bad force. I constantly hear people, whether it's friends that I'm sitting with or I overhear them on the other side of a restaurant saying, oh, I'm not eating carbs this month. And okay, I'm Canadian, I'm hyper polite and politically correct, but sometimes I don't have control over my facial expressions. So every so often if a friend says that to me, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I may have looked at you like you're nuts. I see people, you know, taking their burger out of its bun. And okay, fair enough, because if that bun is some pale, limp, pathetic little thing with a few token sun sesame seeds on top, then fair enough ditch that thing. It's doing you no, nothing helpful. But to cut out carbs entirely, okay, A, it's not even possible. All foods have some portion of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, unless they're a processed food, um, like some protein powders might have no fat in them, or they might have very, very little carbohydrate content. But carbs are not a food, all right? Bread, pasta, white pasta, potatoes, those are the things that people usually mean when they say, I'm cutting out carbs, all right? But carbohydrates are a component of pretty much every food, and some of my favorite foods, beans, legumes, chickpeas, lentils, whole grains, rice, quinoa, buckwheat, even vegetables. There are starchy vegetables like squash or sweet potatoes, but even the non-starchy vegetables like zucchini, like bell peppers, those have carbohydrates in them. Fruit, simple carbohydrates, sugars, you know, which is usually thought of as evil carbs, but fruit is incredibly healthy for you. So when I hear someone say that they're not eating carbs, it leaves me a little bit speechless. Like, whoa, why? Why are you not eating carbs? If you think it's to help you lose weight, then you're actually doing more harm than good because your metabolism runs off of a certain balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And if you throw that balance too far in any one direction, there are gonna be waste products in your metabolism. It's not gonna run as efficiently as possible. Your body's gonna to have to get rid of those waste products and you're gonna wind up craving carbs at some point because your body needs carbs for energy. Your body needs those carbohydrates to run pretty much every single function in order to survive. Your brain needs carbohydrates. If you don't eat enough carbohydrates, your brain will not function properly. When I'm setting up meal plans, I make sure that I get the right ratio of carbohydrates relative to proteins and fats and that they are high quality carbohydrates so that you're not getting empty carbs from things like white bread, but you're getting carbohydrates that come with vitamins and minerals that your body is fully nourished. Want to learn more about a balanced vegan diet and how to get all the nutrition you need from plants? Then sign up down below I'm doing a free series called Vegan Nutrition 101, going over carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, omega-3s, all the stuff that you need to know to be a healthy, happy vegan. Leave me a thumbs up if you like this chat on carbohydrates. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week with nutrition tips like this, along with healthy vegan recipes and other exciting stuff. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.